With the release of Episode 8, the fandom has been going wild, talking about Sin, NX Uzi, V, etc. However, when talking about V, it's mostly about that scene in the beginning. Spoilers for Episode 8, I will give you a few seconds to click away. Okay. V comes back and everyone's talking about it. I, of course, popped off and felt a huge relief in my chest when I saw that. But there is one scene that is my favorite in the episode and it actually hit the hardest. And of course, I'm talking about that hallway scene with V. Now, if you've been following the channel, then you've probably heard me say all V needs to be perfect is to come back and properly apologize to N and, of course, show her payoff with Uzi. And what do you know? That's exactly what we got. V started breaking down, crying, and N got that apology. First, let me play that whole scene for you so you understand what I am talking about, and then I will talk about it and analyze it. Your job, and I leave you and N alone. Right, V? I can still. Bad job, V. So, first, after fighting J, V ends up in this hallway and immediately starts breaking down, apologizing to N and explaining how Tessa is sin, walking straight towards a hologram of N. Uzi thinks it's a trap but N can't resist and yells out for V to stop, leading to him getting impaled. V looks horrified and it is revealed that V knew all along. Uh, she says she's sorry and she should have told him sooner, but after N is impaled, Sin says something like, Don't get in my way, and I won't hurt you and N. Right, V? Sorry, that's a horrible impression, but you get the idea. Revealing that there was an agreement between Sin, V, and J. Right before the Sin scene, V says, we do our job on this planet, and it leaves us alone. She says that to Jay, by the way. Uh, before Jay says, the solver tricked you, and if I can promise you anything, it tricked me too, or something like that. This means V and Jay, specifically V is what's important here, were in an agreement. She says she was scared for them. For him. Him being N. This adds a whole other layer onto V's thing with N. She didn't want him knowing about Tessa being Sin or the agreement between them and was purposely left out by Sin of knowing either because Sin likes N a lot or because his conscience is too good for him to do something to go along with it. Back to the hallway scene though, she starts crying and apologizing, something she desperately needed and what she sees N impaled, uh, and Sin says, right V, uh, she says like maybe we could still, like that's what she says, I'm pretty sure, showing that she's still intimidated by Sin and tries to reason with her before she attacks and V just narrowly makes it out. She almost goes back on her whole thing because she sees Sin impaling N. Just shows how intimidating Sin is. After that, you know, she has a rivalry with Uzi, but still cares, sort of sibling type stuff, always fighting and messing with each other, she's the best. She fights with Jay, super cool stuff adding onto her character, including a look of sympathy for Jay when she says that the solver tricked her, showing that she does not entirely hate Jay. But, um, this was actually foreshadowed that V knew, uh, all the way back in episode 4, and this was pointed out to me by my comment section, something I didn't realize before. V, of course, I just said, um, told Jay, she said, We do our jobs on this planet, and it leaves us alone! That is pretty close to what she says about Solver Uzi when she sees her in episode 4. She says, we do our jobs, and that thing leaves I us alone. I don't know what you're talking about, because you won't tell me! Just saying, it was foreshadowed she knew the whole time. Yeah, it's kind of crazy to think that that was foreshadowed all the way back then, and nobody caught it. I don't know. They do a good job at it, I'm just saying. But, um, yeah, this was 
exactly what V needed. This episode just perfected her, and I could not be happier with the way she was portrayed. Like I said, this might even be her best episode, which is crazy for me to say. But yeah, that is all I wanted to talk about. In this video, V continues to be the highlight of every episode, and this is exactly what I said she needed, so I'm glad she got it. This is not the route I expected them to take, but it's the one I needed and the one she deserves. She's finally being treated like a main character and I'm so glad to see it. This might just be her best episode. To everyone who said V wouldn't be alive, I expect formal apologies directed towards V as well as myself in the comments below. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe for more episode 8 and Murder Drones content I got cooking up in the future, like a J video. But that's all though, see you in the next video. Bye!